Biggest takeaways from the Orioles and Yankees series? Uh, the offense is still problematic. Um, the pitching wasn't awesome. You, you had some tough performances within the within those games. You lost the series to the Orioles, and you split with the Yankees, which is the goal in a four-game series on the road. You're looking to get to. Obviously, you want to get every one of them. You want to win the series, but you're walking out of there going, okay, split, we'll take it. Uh, but you didn't get what you needed out of Miller. You didn't get what you needed. You got it out of Wu. Wu was spectacular. Uh, Luis Castillo in the final game was was. He gave you a chance to win. He wasn't he wasn't your ace. He only goes five innings. Pitch count got up on him. A lot of traffic on the bases. Gave up two solo shots, three walks. Um, you know, Kirby wasn't Kirby. He had a rough outing. So your pitching wasn't what we're used to. But what was the constant? That was the outlier. Pitching's been great. They're going to have bad nights. The offense. We saw it in a couple games. They they had one hit in the final game, going into the ninth inning. I mean, it was it was dreadful. Now, you, you always give credit to the opposition, and they face some really good pitching in, the, in, this, uh, in both series, but you got to be better than that. And when you get opportunities, and we've talked about this every single week we do this video, when you get runners in scoring position, you got to find a way to push across a run or two. And those, they, we saw more than a few of those moments where they just didn't. What would you do to ignite Julio's power? <laughs> Man. If I knew, I'd be making a lot more money than I do now, and I'd be working for the Mariners because I don't think they know. I don't think he knows. Um, we've had we had Mark DeRosa on our show where he was talking about his top hand was heavy coming down. Other people talking about his swing is too long. There's a lot of experts from the outside throwing in opinions. I'm guessing everybody internally who's looking at every single swing of every game is seeing the same things. It's about him implementing whatever sort of mechanical change or or just mental approach. Uh, that needs to be implemented. I don't. I, I. I would have no idea what to tell him. He knows. He knows how to hit better than I could ever hope to. But what's obvious is his timing is off. He's struggling. He's getting beat by the fastball. He's chasing the the soft stuff low and away. Same problems he's had all year. Um, Scott dropped him down to the sixth spot in the lineup. Maybe you just give him the day off. I don't know. Maybe he just needed a complete day off to sit back and watch the game. But. They're, they don't really have the luxury of a backup center fielder. I mean, who, who's playing center field at that point? Is it Dylan Moore? Is it, are you going to move Canzone to center? You don't have a, a great option. That'd be a rough defense out there without Julio. So I think they're they're trying to press every button that's there to be pressed. You're just hoping and, and it will click in at some point. We keep saying it. It's just going on longer than I think anybody anticipated. Who's the best pitcher on this team right now? Brian Wu. <laughs> I mean, if we're just going off most recent performances, he's been spectacular. He, he has been phenomenal. He's only had three starts, limited action. They're, they've, they've got an eye on his pitch count. They're not letting him go past 80 because he had hardly any spring training. And then obviously he hasn't pitched uh, the majority of the season except for the three starts. So we're just going on most recent outings. Brian Wu looked fantastic. He was, he was efficient. His velocity was was just top notch. He, he he was able to locate everything. He he was he was really really good. It was really good to see. But Castillo still got to be your guy. But most recent, we'll go with Wu. What do you want to see over the next week of games from the Mariners, other than runners and scoring? <laughs> That's it. I, you got to get the offense going. I mean, there's just you've got to get the guys that are struggling, whether it's Polanco, whether it's Hanager, whether it's Julio. I mean, this is Julio's the biggest name, and he's the one you expect the most from. He's not the only problem in this lineup. You you go up and down the lineup. Josh Rojas has cooled off in a very big way. Um, Luke Rayleigh has been hot. Hopefully that can continue. Um, but you know, Ty France has chipped in a little bit here and there. He's starting to maybe find it. But you, everybody else from from Garver to Hanniger to Polanco to Julio to JP, who just came back, so I'm not putting a ton on him. But he is leading off, so. You, you got to you got to produce. So this lineup has got to find a way. I don't, if it's getting two of those guys hot or getting them going on a somewhat consistent basis, that's a world of difference because somehow they're finding ways to win when this lineup is not even close to hot.